Hi, this is an update how to add variable products to WooCommerce. So to add variable products, uh, it's pretty uh, simple. Here we are in dashboard, we go to products. So we just add a new one. Let's call this one who to um, let's put a simple description. Is that a new category in case you don't have it? Um, and then in here, we need to switch from simple product to variable product, it still remains the same as last time. And then now we have the variations here, but before we can add variations, we need to add attributes to it so we can create the attributes. So let's say size, and then here let's put a small, uh, medium, and large. This uh, character here is called pipe. The pipe is um, is on the keyboard and next to the brackets to the right, right on top of the enter key, at least on my keyboard. I'm on a Mac, so I don't know what the other people may have. So, so for this attribute size, we have these three set up. We click the use for variations, and then we save it. So, we're gonna add a new one, and let's say color. And then in color, um, I'm gonna add three different colors. One's gonna be black. The other one is going to be green and, and red. Use for variation, save attributes. Okay, so now we have the as you size and color. We come to variations and we can add variations manually or we can tell it to create, create a mix of everything we already have. So we create go. Yes, nine variation because it's three and three, three times three, right? And then here we can edit them. So let's say small black. We can upload a picture. Right. Um, here you can manage the stock. See how it goes in and out. Then in the stock, say I have 10 of the small ones, small black ones. And I can say the price is $20. Right and here, you can allow this allow back orders in the stock. You can add all this other stuff, but let's continue on. There's more green one. Okay, we got stock, same price is $20, but from this one I only have five. And we continue. Small red one. Okay, small red one, minus stock. I have 20 of these ones, and exactly same price, 20. We go to the mean, medium size. This one's medium black, so okay, continue, medium black, and my stock. The medium cost, uh, let's say it costs $25. And I have three left. Continue. Oh, I forgot what it was. Medium green, okay. Medium green. $25, a 20 on a stock, medium red. Okay, you get you get the idea. $25, manage stock, and we set it to 20. This way you control how many of each size you have and the prices and the large ones. Are 
Cash Black. Are thirty dollars, but they are on sale for twenty eight dollars. And then we have only five of those. And the same. This one is the green. So the green my stock. The same thirty dollars. Twenty eight on sale. In stock. Then we have 20, and then here large red, minus stock, 30, and on sale for 28. And here we have 10. And we save the changes. Now we have all these variations, so here we can have the the product image so I just want to say this one and we have our variable product ready to go so we can just publish it and we can just view it so now here we have you can select small and black can see changes here and it tells you you got 10 on stock green we change it to large it was 30 but now it's 28 on sale so that's how you manage um the variable products